Hey everybody, David Plummer and Michael Ferguson here from Aerial Influence. This is episode three of our podcast series. We are talking drones and agriculture. Today, we're talking DJI Terra. And this is the question we get a lot of. What is DJI Terra? Because I think a lot of people that, that don't understand software, that don't understand mapping, may not really understand what DJI Terra is and what it does. So it's, yeah. give us a little quick overview of it. And I know there are other competitors yeah. out there too, but let's talk Terra first. Terra is basically um, a mapping, stitch, mapping software or stitching software so you can take out a drone, Phantom 4 Multispectral or RTK or something, um, using either the built-in screen or a ground station pro like that's the ipad app and you figure out where you want to make that map and then it will kind of populate uh, the lines as far as where it's going to take pictures mm -hmm. uh it send, sends it out on the mission it takes those pictures then you take that back and either if it's a remote uh that can actually plug right into a laptop um you can actually process tear it that way um, most of the time you're taking the SD card out, putting uh, the SD card in the computer, and then processing the map that way. It's what you can do afterwards. Uh, so if you're taking, let's say, a Phantom 4 RTK, it's just going to be regular RGB images, and um, you're going to be making your map. And from there, you can actually export that map to, say, uh, a T-16 or an MG-1P spraying hmm. drone. Yeah. And you can you can take out obstacles you know so it goes around the barn it goes around the big oak tree or whatever the stuff and you don't want to spray exactly right. yeah and and then it will then go on that path and spray yeah so there's a lot of different uses for it you, you can uh you can do 2d maps you can do multi-spectral maps you can do uh 3d maps thermal thermal yeah we've done that and then those can be exported uh you know to to a client or something or it could be exported to uh another like the agricultural platform uh where you can then save fields and and have those sprayed or spread over and over again so in a so in a simple term because this is all really complicated stuff and it's a the infrastructure within dji is it, th there's a lot that they're offering yeah, uh, in, in the agricultural side but the overview of what Terra is is essentially it is the software that you're going to use when you go out and you fly your 500 acre farm and you've taken this, you know, ungodly amount of pictures, yeah. you're going to then take that, upload it to this software, and it's going to stitch all those photos together to make it one giant map. That's the yeah. idea. Yeah. So that's in, in its, in its, you know, simplest form, that's what it does. After it stitches the map is where the magic happens. That's where it really is going to give you the information. You're, right. as, a, as a farmer, uh, that's what it's going to give you the information that you need uh, to know, you know, where the health of your plants are, uh, where you need to water, where you need more pesticide. Right. And the beauty of it is it works with these bigger drones, which we're going to talk about in another episode as right. well. Yeah. Um, but I do think that that is one thing. Tara has been sort of the question mark, I think, for a lot of people. But if you compare it to something like Drone Deploy or mm. Pix4D, so Pix4D is one that people, especially the police, are using. Yeah, definitely for um, accident reconstruction, that kind of stuff. Right, um, and, and that's really the reason they're using it is because it's not cloud-based. It's all processed on your computer. Yeah. Uh, they don't like the cloud-based stuff. Um, then you got Drone Deploy, that's a very popular one as well. Yep. And, and, that, and that does, you know, it, it works from anything from construction to, to agriculture as well. I mean, um, the, all those programs are great. Mm -hmm. um, and we'd have to look into it a little bit more, but it looks like what you could do is you could have a DJI drone, uh, definitely like an RGB one. I, I'm specifically kind of talking about the multi-spectral, being able to take those images and put it into a PIX4D or drone deploy. You could probably do that and maybe get a little bit more analysis. But what we're trying to go over is just kind of like the DJI ecosystem. So. Mm -hmm. How do you identify a field, map that field, uh, analyze that field, then take that information, throw it into one of the spraying drones, so then it has, you know, it knows where to spray or spread seed, um, and that that's that's basically what we're trying to accomplish. Right. So. Obviously, like we said, really complicated, but we're going to get into the things that most people are really excited about in our next episode, episode four. We're going to be talking about the DJI Agress MG1P and the DJI Agress T16. Those are the big boys, the big spraying drones. Thank you guys so much for checking out the podcast. We'll see you next time.